The title of Verghese's novel, Cutting for Stone, resonates mystery and leads the reader to follow the story carefully, looking for clues and hints of what the author might be suggesting as for what it means to cut for stone. At the end of the novel, the mystery of what stone seems to represent is clear, but still the phrase's meaning has not solidified. Perhaps the author did this intentionally, keeping the ambiguity to give strength and a strange sanctity to it. It might also be that the author left it to several dimensions because the phrase does in fact encompass all of the conjectures that the leaders led to throughout the book. Overall, the topic of what stone represents in the novel is best understood when accompanied by the rest of the title. This leads us in three directions as for what the phrase represents. 1. An overstepping of one's surgical abilities in the field. 2. Marion's quest to discover he and his father's past. Or 3. Marion's succession to Thomas Stone. The Hippocratic Oath is the most obvious reference to the title. Using the phrase as a metaphor for an overstepping of one's bounds in surgical knowledge and continuing to operate in a procedure that they are unfamiliar with because of what they believe to be too imminent of a situation to ignore. This carries an almost dark sense of humor to one of the first scenes in the novel when Thomas Stone attempts to perform the Garcisan section on his lover, Sister Mary Joseph Praise. Stone was a calm, cold, and collected surgeon, making his name quite the accurate label, who had often had a saying for everything to do with surgical safety. He could have easily done this operation on anyone else. It was not the lack of knowledge that prevented him from being successful, but rather the emotional turmoil that the gathering of his knowledge and the ignoring of all of his relationships that led to the failure of the operation and the eventual death of Sister Mary. Stone had not overstepped his bounds in knowledge, it was his ability to shut out his emotions for his patient by burying himself in his work that he overestimated, his ability to become Stone. Throughout the story, Marion, the now orphaned son of Stone and Praise, takes interest in topical surgery and begins to work and study under Missing's bustling theaters. As he grows up, even though he comes to resent his father for leaving, he becomes, like him, a surgeon. Having worked under Missing, Marion almost seems to gradually replace his father in Adidas Abeba. Thus, Marion, in his father's absence and in the hospital's need, began cutting for stone. The last, most prevalent meaning is revealed throughout the novel and seems to be the main purpose of the title's phraseology. At the beginning, Marion describes his child self questioning the remaining evidence of his mother's stay at Missing. He wishes to know more of his mother's life and the man he was told to be his father. Abraham's book seems to be all about Marion's journey in discovering both his father and his mother's disjoined and joined past. Here Cutting for Stone is better translated as Searching for Stone. Marion searched as a builder for bedrock, looking for somewhere to base his unexplained existence.